I'm going to demonstrate how to get started with Adobe Contribute. With Adobe Contribute, you can edit your own web page. You can make it as simple or as complicated as you want. But first of all, let's get started and try it. What you need to do is open up your Adobe Contribute program. Once you open up the program, this is your welcome screen. If you notice here, it says these li this lists the websites that I use. This is the Cottonwood Elementary website. I'm going to click on this and this will open up my web page. This is my web page. This is how people who are browsing the internet see my web page right now. This is what we call view mode. What we need to do is if we want to change it or edit it, we have to edit this page. To edit this page, we click on the Edit Page button. What it does, it creates a draft of our web page, a draft that we can play with and change. So right now, I'm in draft mode. You can tell that we're in draft mode because the button up here says Publish. And also, we are able to move around in our document. Up here is our page header. Down here is our page footer. Usually, we don't need to touch these. Where, we, we'll, where I'll be working is in the main edit region. And this region in here is just like a Word document. What you can do is you can start typing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to welcome all visitors to my web page. I am very glad you have found our page. I hope that this everyone. I just typed that. Very easy, just like a word page. Oh, I don't want to say if I want to change something, it's very easy to go back and change something. I want to say web page, so I'm just going to click right in here and I'm going to type the word web and space just like you do in work. So now you know how to access contribute and how to get into draft mode. Let's let's pretend that we have our school schedule typed up in Word and I want to put our school schedule on my web page. What I'll do is I'll go over to my Word document where I have our class schedule and our special schedule. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upset and I want to put this all on my web page. I'm going to highlight this all. I'm going to right click and say copy and then go back to contribute and I'm going to figure out where I want to put this text. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to right click again and click on paste. And there is all of the information right here on your web page. I think I'm going to change all of this to a different style. I'm going to highlight it all and I'm going to go click up here and I'm going to click on normal which you see changes the font to match everything else on the page. When you bring it in here, you might have to do a little bit of changing um, and editing, but it's just like in Word. I'm going to go down here and press the delete button to get rid of the spaces. Okay, and I want to have class schedule a little bit bolder, so I'm going to go change the style on that. I'm going to click on this button, the arrow button here, and change it to second page heading. I'm also going to change this special schedule to that same second page heading. So it's just a little bit bolder. Okay? And that's all I want to do. When I'm done, I click on the publish button. It will change it will save my changes so that people coming to my website they'll see these changes. And there my changes are. So what I did is I showed you how you can type your own text on your web page or you can copy and paste something from Word and put it on your web page, just like that. I hope that's helpful.